Can you use AI reference art to make a 3D character from scratch? Absolutely. AI is bad for business. I always recommend to hire an artist if you want to get rid of that. And I also do enjoy working with artists. Don't let one bad experience stop you from hiring artists ever again. And I had some bad experiences. So if you never can hire artists ever again, this video is for you. See? Boom. Follows on with the reference. And yeah, I made this one. Link in the description of how to make your own reference art. I showed you how to do all that stuff. It was really fun. I, why would you want to do this? Because working with artists can be quite finicky. All right, and look. Also works for texturing. Uh, look at this. See, I made all this. It was so fun to do, as you can see. Nice and good. And let's see, my favorite part is like the shoes. Where is it? Yeah, see? I am good at making textures. It was so fun to do. Remember, all this cool designs? You know, all this cool stuff? Look, that's where it came from. Awesome. I made a whole playlist how to make your own AI reference art and have everything line up. It is awesome. See on the cover, for example. And let's see, where is it? Let's see. It's, do I have two of them? Okay, look. See this one? Everything lines up. That is pretty dang awesome, as you can see. All right, the lips underneath the lips. And AI can do that. All right. Underneath the chest, so on and so forth. And this will make a good model. All right. And as far as hiring a person, you can hire a person and get good. We'll just be honest, hiring a person could be a mixed bag. All right. Most of the artists I've hired are not fun to work with. All right. This artist I love to work with. She was fun. And just having all the lines match up. A lot of artists actually cannot do that. I felt a lot of training. It's a lot of back and forth. And that's a lot of time. All right. Time is money. Uh, training people's money. I love training people, but if it's, it's quite a bit of training, she was awesome though. And for example, here, if you want to hire someone online, look, 50, no, this is how much it is. You need three views front, side, and back. Can they do an A pose? They probably can't, probably can. All right. I don't know. I don't see it. Seeing is believing. A lot of artists say they can do it. No, they can't. All right. And Let's see, I'm sure this. Some people use AI. Remember, link in the description how to make um, A poses front, side, and back, three views. This is, for example, and so I can say generate. Remember, link in the description for this. This is one of my mate. And remember, you can hire the resolution if you want to. Let me try to do it in just a second. And look, you can type in any prop you want and get any basically any character you want. So it's got that mixture. And look, see? Awesome. And to hire someone to do that, probably be around $40. All right, it's expensive and it gets cool results you want. You pick any style you want. And for example, this one, you can hide the resolution. So the eyes are more detail and you can tell it to get rid of the cape. Remember, link in the description. I could tell you to get rid of all this. You can get this hand and make it a pose or whatever. You have a lot of control. Link in the description. See, as you can see right here, this is all the tutorials. These top three are some of the best. And once you're done making it, look, a whole list. Then boom, my character walked and talking, as you can see right there. It is awesome. The feature is here. All right, and remember one of the playlists? This person made the reference art. It was made by a human, but you can also use AI. She was awesome to work with. Most artists aren't. And see how it follows all the curves? I sure how to do all that for absolute beginners. Oh, it looks too complicated. Um, no, it's easier than you think it is. All right, let's see. Oh, dang, I lost it. All right, see how it's QB? In reality, it is not that way. The the computer software does that. So you just make this blocky thing and use this like that. And yeah, it's pretty awesome. All right, as far as working with an artist, where is it? Come on. I had mostly bad experiences working with artists. I wish that wasn't the case, but that is the case. Uh, most artists take advantage of me. I make their own, I make their OCs. Well, no, I make the OCs from 3D and I have to pay them to make their own reference art. No, no I'm not kidding. So they don't have time. So I have to pay them to make the time for them to make a character that's for them. And I have to pay on both ends. So I don't make money and I have to pay. It's it's really weird. It's a weird, weird relationship. There's only a few artists that are awesome. A good trade collab. It was awesome. I made them a character. Then we made me reference art. It was a good neutral relationships. But 90 something percent aren't that way. Do not get revenge on people. Only makes the community look weird. All right. I love 3D artists. 2D artists is a mixed bag. Um, if, if, if you got wronged by an artist, one of the best things to do is just not advertise them and block them and using AI is enough of the middle finger. If you think about 